I promised Todd that I would help him raise his boy, even if we weren't together, because we make a great, a great team, right? I mean, you can say a lot of things about Todd and me. I mean, we've definitely made our mistakes, but we have, we have terrific kids. And so do I. But nothing could have prepared you for what it would be like to hold that little one in your arms, to, to be alone I, with You know what, Mama? I can do it. I can do this. If you can't, better to say something now than to resent that little boy. I, I don't resent him. It's just going to take me some time to get to know him and, and to get to love him. Are you worried you might not be able to? Well, when I thought I saw Margaret here earlier, she said that I hoped that she would take the baby away. But I'd be glad about that. You know, if, if, if that's what's really going on in my, in my psyche, I mean, maybe that's what I really want. If you tell Vicky that Jared's your son, there's no way she's going to let him perpetrate a fraud against her children. I wouldn't expect her to. And he'll be disinherited and go to jail. So what other choice do you have but to continue lying to her the way you've been lying to everybody else? It's a rock and a hard place. I am so sorry that Vicky chose not to tell you who she really is. But she did. So now I'm afraid you have a pretty tough choice to make. You can either betray the son you're trying to win back or lie to the woman you've given your heart to. Uh, good afternoon, Patty. Were you uh, able to line up the conference call? Yes, they're already on the speakerphone. Good. Uh, Bo, wait a minute. Yeah. You hardly said two words on the way over here. I've got a lot on my mind. Are you sure that's all? No, I didn't. Look, Clint, I'm fine with you and Nora being a couple, if that's what you are. So don't ask me about it again, OK? Bo, I didn't. Well. Here's Uncle Bo, guys. Hi, Sarah. Hey. How are you, Nash? Good to see you, too. Sir. All right, I'm told that we have Kevin Cord and Joey on the line, and we're already behind, so let's get this thing moving and let the London men go to bed. Shouldn't we hey. wait for Jessica and Natalie? Oh, didn't you hear they flew to Texas to make sure their moms are all right? I guess they're not going to make it. All right, I call this meeting to order. Wait, I think we should postpone until the full board is in attendance. Well, the bylaws define a quorum as a majority of the members, and we certainly have that, although I do appreciate your concern for the rules. Now, let's turn our attention to item one on the agenda. Wine. I yes. like. Hey, maybe you should have brought samples, since the only way you're going to push through this is if they're drunk. Why is he allowed to be here? He's not even on the board. Well, as your business partner, he may contribute something to the discussion. That I do, sir. Before we um, entertain Jared's idea, I'd like to let everybody know that I kept my promise to look into his background. Uh, he seems to know everything there is to know about the Buchanan, so I think it's only fair that we know everything there is to know about him. Right, Jared? Todd knew how I felt. If Todd knew you were human, I'm a child of rape, Mama. I turned out okay, didn't I? You're better than okay. Thank God. I just want to be able to love Sam as much as you love me. Well, I've been through a lot of therapy. <laughs> and here's what I know. What? If you want to love Sam, you have to deal with your doubts and your fears and all your feelings now. If you, if you push all that down, you're just going to make it so much harder for yourself. You're a wonderful person and a terrific mother. And I know you'll find the love in your heart for that little one. He's very lucky to have you. I'm the one that's lucky. I'm lucky that I have you. Vicky's going to think I'm a louse for not calling her. And 
Now when I finally do call her, I'm gonna have to be even a bigger louse and lie to her. Or you could not call. I don't like either option. You know, maybe you should concentrate on your relationship with Jared, the way Vicky suggested. That way, given time, the two of you might have uh, a rapprochement, and then you won't have to lie to Vicky anymore. Yeah, I think I was fooling myself thinking that Jared would want to have anything to do with me at all. Now, what do I have to offer that the Buchanans don't? He is your flesh and blood. You love him. Yeah, and I disappointed him today. Again, I promised him I would be there, and I wasn't. He'll understand. What? We ran out of gas? Basic excuse number 32 from way back when? Yes, but in this case, it happens to be true. Yeah. And it's my fault, and I'm very sorry. No, no. Look, you were just trying to set me up with a job here, and you've given me a place to stay, and you've been terrific. Oh. Does that mean that you've... You've forgiven me for not telling you the truth about Vicky? Hey. Like you said, you were just doing it out of respect for your friend. Your DNA came back as a match, but the only thing that we really know about you is that you're an ex-con, so it seems like it would be a good idea to do a thorough background check, since we're talking about Pa's legacy. You know. So what'd you find? Nothing? No, we could trace uh, Jared's background to a period just before he uh, went to prison. But anything before that, nada. I tried to interview several people, but uh, none of them wanted to talk. They just had nothing to say. So then, all we have is Jared's word that he grew up alone with his mother. What was her name again? Valerie Banks. Hmm. Well, I was able to dig up someone who could uh, shed some light on all of this. Uh, someone who might have a unique perspective on Pa's life, that period of Pa's life during this period that's in question. Hi, can you come in, please? I'd like everybody to uh, please say hello to Pa's second wife. This is Pamela Stewart. <laughs> Second unofficially, fifth officially. Depends on how you count. Pamela, it's good to see you. Oh, nice to see you. Sorry about before, talking and yelling. You must have thought I was a crazy woman. There's only two of us here, you and me. That's it, just you and me. Don't listen to her, TJ. Oh, God. Of course, someone else was here. Your mother is always here to protect you from her. No, I heard it all, Blair, every pathetic word. <gasps> Poor Addie filling your head with that phony pep talk. Wow. Oh, my darling, you have so much love in your heart. You're the perfect person, a wonderful mother. <gasps> and you fell for it, didn't you? Ate it all up. A reality check, Blair. <laughs> It was all lies. You will never love my little Todd Jr. Never. 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 Jared's gone. Yeah, when he wasn't answering his phone, I knew he wasn't going to be in the diner anymore. I have the feeling that eventually things are going to work out between the two of you. I wish I did. And in the meantime, you're right. I can't call Vicky. I mean, you know how you said I was going to have to choose between her and my son? Mm -hmm. Right now, I just hope that I'm not going to lose both of them. Thank you. No, thank you for coming all this way. I'll do whatever I can to help. Well, would you please tell the board uh, what you told me on the phone? Oh, of course. <clears throat> I can assure you with absolute certainty that Asa Buchanan never conceived a child with a woman named Valerie Banks. 